so that we avoid a controversy of air brakes versus spoilers. Spoilers are technically this device in the front, which fold up out of the wing of a full-scale aircraft, destroying the lift and making the aircraft settle. Air brakes come up out of the wing in a vertical fashion, destroying or actually creating drag on the aircraft, therefore making the aircraft settle. For practical purposes and continuity amongst our group, we're going to go ahead and refer to our devices as spoilers. That's what everybody refers to them as, and we're just going to continue with that just to avoid any kind of confusion. Now we're going to talk about a few common mistakes and errors that happen with installation of spoilers and also problems that will develop uh, over the season of using spoilers. Um, when the spoiler is deployed, it comes up into the windstream. There's quite a bit of pressure gets pushed against the spoiler. So it's fairly common that they will, over time, start to snag just a little bit when you put them back into the, uh, into the slots. Um, simply what we want to do is we want to take apart the spoiler. And how we're going to do that is, with the aircraft wing and the spoiler mounted into it, you're going to put your thumb and finger over the top of the spoiler, right at this black pin device. And you're going to pull upwards on it. And you need to do it in a firm but gentle motion. And you'll notice that we were able to take the spoiler off of the pin. And we'll do the same thing for the, for the other one, which is on the back side here. And we're going to lift up on it. And the spoiler is going to come apart. And as you can see, there's the pivot pins on the inside. Common mistake is people think that you're going to take the pins out. And that's not how these spoilers will come apart. Very important that you take the pieces as they come off of the spoiler and just simply set them aside. Now, looking at the mechanism, you can see that when you, again, deploy the spoiler, there's two pivot rods on the inside. These two pivot arms, we'll call them. When you de depress the spoiler and it goes back in, there's a metal slide device that pushes them down and locks them. We'll talk a little more about this lock later. We're going to continue disassembling the spoiler. The spoiler raised, you need to pull out these black pins. These pins are very small, they're plastic, and they will get lost. So you need to be very careful when removing them, especially at the field. It's a great idea to put a little blanket underneath the aircraft when you're doing this. How you want to remove these pins is put your finger over the pin and lightly wiggle them out. And, by, by, and I do mean by lightly, you need to simply pull them apart. And you'll see the pin falls out. So we'll take the one off the front side too, and we'll drop the pin out of it. Again, note the orientation of the blade and set the blade aside. Now we have left the mechanism and the two pivot arms. The pivot arms, as you can see, are attached to a metal rivet that goes through the bottom side. By putting your thumb on the forward side of it, the, the, the non-open side, and you click it forward, you can get it to release. And noting the orientation as you take it apart. Same thing on the front side. Now I have to take this clevis off in order to do that. So we'll take the clevis off, come back in, a little bit of wiggling, a little bit of pressure, but under control, you can take this pin off too. So there, you pretty much have all the parts of the spoiler taken apart to be cleaned, lubricated, straightened, whatever the case may be, but always notice that I've kept the orientation of the parts the same on where they belong. Now that we've totally made a mess of the spoiler, let's go ahead and reassemble it. The reassembly process is a simple reverse order of what we just did. Start with the pivot pins. Snap them into place. Okay. The front mechanism, you have to slide the mechanism through the little slot and snap it into place. Okay. Checking for smooth operation which there is, 
we're ready to continue. All right, starting with the blade, this is the lower blade section, you want to take the pivot pins. Now, this is where the pins that we, that we use to hold this together will get lost. It's very important that you, you, you keep track of these things and, and don't let them fly away because they're, they're difficult to get a hold of. So you place the pin into the hole, put your finger on it. You're going to line the pin up with a hole in the arm. So one thing to remember is you're doing this to an aircraft wing where it's already inserted. So you don't have the luxury of leaning it back on an angle unless you take the wing apart and you have somebody help you, which wouldn't be a bad idea. So typically what happens is when you're putting these back in and you have the wing set up, they fall into the bay. So with a piece of heat, with a pair of hemostats, you can ca carefully pull those pins back out. Make sure they don't hit to the end because they'll go into the wing. The front pin will go into the hole and again, line it up. Insert it. Now, these pins want to be pressed in fairly firm. You want to get them in there, but you don't want to put a pair of pliers on them. You just want them in firm and tight. At this point, operate the spoiler. Everything seems to be fine. Here's where I want to talk a little bit about how a spoiler will bind up on you. Those pins that we just placed into the wing or into the mechanism will loosen up over the season. When they loosen up, they will allow the blade to slightly come off. And as that comes off, it starts to catch up on things. It can catch on the edge of this. Um, when you put the top mechanism piece on, and I'll show you this in a minute, you'll see that how the two blades will actually bind up on each other. Those are the common causes and the common errors. So to continue along, we're going to go ahead and put the top blade, and I'm going to just flip it over so you can see it here, we're going to put the top blade lined up with those pins. And simply you line them up, front and back. You're going to snap one in at a time, but we're going to line them up first. Snap it down, front one, snap it down. Now, all of the movements that you make when you're working with your spoilers, you need to be careful. They're thin aluminum, they'll bend easy, and the parts can get lost. So with a little bit of care, a little bit of patience, and you don't force anything. You simply snap it apart, clean the parts, put them back together. If you run into a problem where the pins continually want to work their way out, you can raise your spoiler with the wing off of the aircraft, tip the wing up so you can see the back side. You may want to insert just a drop of CA into that hole just enough to make the pin stick a little bit better and, and, and create a little bit of friction from working its way out. Now, if the pins were to work their way out over time, and I'm going to reproduce it here for you, I'm going to loosen this pin up a little bit. You'll notice that the pin is, is a little bit loose, it's a little bit floppy. The blades will have a tendency to want to bind on each other. And also what happens is these will get bent and the next thing you know, it's not going to want to operate. Put this back together here. So, in the maintenance end of it, open the spoilers. Check your blade. Make sure they're straight. If you need to simply bend them lightly, everything needs to be light pressure. You can make the spoilers operate consistently.